Yeah, uh, it's a parent-child relationship, you know, that we were building off that, that I think all parents and children go through, you know, especially at this stage where your child is a teenager and they're transitioning from adolescence to adulthood. That's a very tr transformational time, you know, and it's a very hard time because they're getting closer to you. You know, they're, they're starting to come into maturity. And as a parent, right, I have a daughter and three sons just like Fergus does, and I'm seeing my kids grow up and I want to help instruct them to get by the you know, the, the pitfalls that they're gonna run into so they don't get hurt, you know, so that help them navigate. But the thing that has made me me is falling flat on my face, making mistakes and learning to get up again and, and learn from my mistakes and keep going. So as a parent, I ultimately have to back off and trust that they're gonna be able to do it and just go into a support role. So that is a universally relatable idea. And I think for the child, once they get, they, they mature, they realize, oh, why was I pushing my parents away? I actually need them, right? They were a part of me and, and helped me out more than I know. Boy, I feel like an idiot now. And that's what Merida goes through as well. So that's universally relatable and that's real. And that's what we were after in that relationship. So this, this hair for Merida was so much part of her character, her fiery spirit, untamed nature, and the, the wild quality of this character. So it, it had to have this hair. But this was a huge technology challenge, and it took more than two years to develop the ability to to make this hair, and then make it move, and then get it wet, and then you know get it in the wind and directable, so Mark could could ask for the luck to go here or for the mare to touch her own hair. So it was it was a, a very very difficult challenge, but one that our team embraced because they said like this is the character we want to do this character. We can't give her a haircut. We can't make it easy because. You know, it wouldn't be the same movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, we put bows in their hands and had them pull back and fire at targets. Yeah, I mean, but the animators love doing that. I mean, that's their job, is to figure out what motion and the kinetics are for everything. I mean, from the way the bear moves, the horse move. I mean, they took horseback riding lessons to how the kilts move. They all got kilts. They put on women's dresses with long gowns to walk around to figure out what how you move in these things. I mean, that's that's part of their job is to to understand that. So the more knowledge you have, the more details you have, you can make those observations and put that in the movie to make it more so believable. Two research trips, and uh, Mark and I were both on the first one in 2006, um, and it's... Uh, it's extremely important at Pixar, research, 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 but we took sketchbooks, paints, cameras, pastels, mm -hmm. video cameras, and um, we hiked through the highlands, and uh, uh, Mark and his friends went swimming in the loch, and we uh, We didn't explored. have bathing suits. No, we had, oh God. Um, it was impromptu. But really, uh, speaking with the locals and hearing the rhythm of the accent, hearing stories from every region, and hearing the legends, it was very important to, in informing how we told the story. Um, witnessing it, smelling the air, seeing the colors of the skies change, the weather changes in a story about change and transformation of a relationship. It was uh, we could really experience that connection between land and people. They're and all in that same Did scene. Did you see anything else? Everything's in there. That yeah. same scene. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's a, four <laughs> others, dude. There's even a little hint of uh, our next feature film in there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Look like A113. It. All the gags are right in that it's one in scene. Yeah. Okay. And they're all done appropriate to the period of yes. this film. But we uh, do think a, that we will there have... There will be a short on the Blu-ray. Well, uh, no, there will be a Blu-ray. Yeah. And it will have a lot of cool stuff on it. And we'll <laughs> as, let usual, you know, as always. We'll let you know so it. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.